Shalom Worm, Shalom Worm, Kol Halo, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash, Devil Honor, Sai Elders, a great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, and to the speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth to, to look like the heathen nations. To y'all say Shalom Worm, and Shalom Worm to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning, and Shalom Worm to all you Akim that are out there laboring out there in the highways and hedges. Out there on the street corners, you know, laboring, you know, day in and day out, putting up videos that's magnifying the true name is Yahweh, which is the name of who the world nearly calls God, or the Father, or the Almighty, and it's magnifying the name Yahweh Shai, which is the one and the only true name of who the world nearly calls Jesus. Um, I also want to say that this video is only for the Israelites, the elect, as only the elect will receive it, the one third, because two thirds of all people will be destroyed. I'm going to say that the, um, the Israelites today are who you call black, Hispanic, Native American, Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. And I'm basically coming back at you with another video. Um, I'm going to talk about different different topics. You know, um, I'll probably name this video, um, America will not be healed or, you know, this is the time. That the Lord is visiting the earth, you know, because I, I, I had planned out in my head, you know, with the spirit and power. And yeah, I was to go to Second Edges, the ninth chapter. I'm going to bring that out because it, Second Edges, man, it's just, you know, that's one of my favorite books. And it's just a perfect, it has perfect, you know, chapter, the chapters that break it down beautifully, you know, what's going on in the times that we're living in. You know, but I got this article put up on the screen. And, uh, you know, as y'all can see, you know, there's a lot of uh, flooding going on in uh, Mississippi right now, or, you know, coming floods. And uh, this made me think of Second Edge of Chapter 9. And uh, I was also thinking about the flooding that just recently happened, I think like a week or two ago. Um, not where I live at exactly, but in the same state of Kentucky. It was like in a different part of Kentucky, and, you know, there's still people that's missing, still people that's... You know, they, they can't get their stuff back. They can't get no assistance. And these are Edomites, you know, so-called white people. Because that's the nation that the Lord has, um, that, he, that he hates, you know. He's plaguing them. You know, but um, right here it says, um, officials in Mississippi have issued mandatory evacuation orders for some in the capital of Jackson ahead of expecting flooding on Monday. You know, in a... Uh, I don't know if this really happens too much down there. I don't really know, you know, um, I don't have any family members or anything that live down there in Mississippi, but I know we have the camp, you know, hey, I think we have a camp down there in Jackson, Mississippi. I know they're in Mississippi, but um, the brothers down there, you know, in GMS, Mississippi, you know, hey, Lord willing, you know, the Lord's gonna protect them. He, he got them, they're doing the work, you know, they're doing the work, they're doing the Lord's will. But I, I'm not exactly sure if they're in Jackson, but I know we do have a camp in Mississippi. But um, this is all the Lord's will, man, you know. This is all the Lord's will. Let me get this in um, Second Ezra chapter 9. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to Isaiah the 45th chapter in the um, 7th verse. Right, because, you know, that the Lord is the one who controls evil, right? You know, this is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7 says, I form the light. And create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So, you know, what's going on with these floods? You know, the Lord is doing that, man. The Lord is stirring up, you know, the angels and, you know, or using Esau, Edom, to, you know, uh, turn on these frequencies and, you know, cause these mass floodings. Because we know that um, there's a lot of st things that had to go down, you know, before our hell breaks loose and uh, Esau, Edom, you know, which they have a lot of plans to, to implement, you know, which they ain't going to be able to do everything, but they're going to be able to do a certain amount, you know, because I, I heard about climate and lockdowns and stuff, you know, um, and stuff like that they wanted to do, but I don't know if this is going to have anything to do with it, but either way, it's, it's from you. How about you? I was shot. Um, and the fact that it was mandatory, you know, it's, it's something um, that's um, treacherous, it's, it's deadly, you know. <laughs> Get this in a second, I just shot the nine real quick. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shall thou very, then shall thou 
understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's what we are required to do, we are commanded to do is, um, you know, pay attention to what's going on and, and, and see what, what prophecies are kicking off in the Bible, you know, as far as current events around the world, you know, because the Lord said these things will happen, you know. This is part of the prophecy, plagues, um, pestilences, you know, so-called natural disasters, you know, earthquakes, you know, um, catastrophes. You know, these are all signs that the Lord is, is judging this place and he's angry with this place. You know, these things don't just happen by coincidence, coincidence, you know. But, um, you know, like I also mentioned that um, you saw Edom, they have, like, I believe they have like a, um, like, what's it called, harp. The weather modification machine or whatever, you know, um, I don't want to give Esau too much credit, but the Lord is the one who's controlling them because a lot of these plagues that be happening, you know, it's pretty crazy, man. You know, but it's the Lord still doing it because he's putting it on his spirit to do it. But a lot of these people, they, they ain't taking heed to that warning. You know, they ain't taking heed to the trouble. We got prophets everywhere in every city, but the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites anyway. So you heathens, man, we don't even care about you, but... You jakes, man. Y'all the ones that need to wake up. Y'all the ones that need to seek y'all about Shem Yahweh Shab. You know? Because, hey, when a flood, man, you know, you can't really stop that. You know, when if it's raining and the water comes up as it's raining so much, that's nothing you can really do. You know? You, you, I don't think you can really prepare for it for real because, you know, if you, have, you live in a house, all you can really do is probably, um, you can't, like, cover your, your you know, your valuables up or all you can do is probably move them but you can't you know move everything out of your house or where you live at you can't really do that you know so um all you can do is give it to the lord man you know but um i think i i, I heard about this from um brother in gms dedication I, I believe he's in the gms mississippi camp um and that's how i originally heard about it then i went to um um, so like I went to news break and I found out about it. And I, I want to do a video on it, you know. And it's just so there's so much stuff going on. And uh, I think also what happened, it popped up on my phone. Um, what was it? The actor Michael, I forgot what his name was, Michael something. Um, he basically was advocating, like, he was basically with you know the um, the rainbow agenda, like, you know. And I'm thinking that's that's why the Lord took him out, you know. You can't be a part of this system because it's it's wicked, you know. We live in a wicked world, you know. And and the Lord's judging this place, especially if you're an Israelite, man. You know, you gonna get it the worst because you are an Israelite. You're the Lord's people, you know. Um, I want to get this in. Um, I want to get this in verse 3. It says, Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people of the world, right? Now, all those things are happening too. It says, verse 4, Then should thou well understand that the Most High speak of those days, those speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Lord, you know, already preordained for these things to happen in these latter times, you know, from all the way from the time of the garden, you know, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and Tower of Babel, Joseph being this, like all the different things that happened in, in the years past. These things that's happening now in this lifetime were already ordained. Now, how powerful is that? You know? Um, I'm going to get verse 5. It says, For like it's all that is made in the world at the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. And we're in the latter days. We're at the end of the latter days. The latter days started when our Lord and Savior, um, Yahweh Shah, you know, came on the scene 2,000 years ago. That's actually when. The last days really began, but now we're at the end of the end. You know, this is the last empire that's going to be set up before Yahweh Shah returns to America, which is Babylon the Great, and this is going to be the places of our deliverance. You know, and of course, you know, you got Israelites that's going to be delivered everywhere else, but this is going to be the main place of deliverance. Um, what else happened? Um, go back to Salaki. This is heavy, man, you know, because this just happened, like I said um, earlier in the video, you know, um, in Kentucky, you know, where I live at, kind of close to where I live at, but not where I live at, you know, 
But, you know, things is happening, man, while Jake is lollygagging, still having their hopes in this world, and they still trust in this system and trying to build in this in this place. Like, we don't have we don't have that much longer in this place, man. This is um Micah chapter two, verse ten. Get that real quick. It says, um, arise ye, meaning, you know, it says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, talking about America, because of this polluted. Right, everywhere you go, it's wicked as, it's evil happening. You know, it says, and this should destroy you, even with this sword of destruction. And because if you follow the ways of this world, you know, hey, you're going to end up um, being judged by Yahweh by Shemuel Shad. And, you know, you don't want that, but the elect, they're going to make it out of you, you know. Um... I just seen it on here somewhere. Um, that actor, Michael, Michael something. I'm trying to remember, cause that's judgment. Um, it's a lot of I know I just seen it. Yeah, this right there, this dude, Michael K. Williams. He's a famous actor, and uh, I seen this actually public on my phone. Yesterday, and uh, I was like, yeah, this is judgment, man, because, you know, the Lord is not with that, man. You know? Um, let me get this in, uh, what is that, Second Chronicles? It's a lot of you. I'm probably come back with a part two of this video, Lord willing, because I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of storage on my phone. Um... Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 13, it says that whosoever shall not seek the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. You see? And this, he was considered great, or, you know, he had status in the society, and he was pushing for this agenda. He was with it, as y'all can see what it says. You know, but he died not too long ago. You know, why is that? You know? Because he sold out. You know? And the Lord had, you know, he clearly had some beef with him, you know, this dude, because he, the Lord wouldn't have took him out. Now, it don't matter how he died, it was still the Lord. I was brought that scripture in the book of Isaiah that the Lord controls good and evil. You know, man, but um, I'm going to close out because I don't have a lot of storage on my phone, so I'll probably come back with a part two. I don't want this lesson, I didn't want this lesson to be really short, but um, I'm going to close out and I'll probably come back with a part two, Lord willing. Um, on different topics, you know, things happening. I'm going to say Shalom to the elect and to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I'm going to say why, blah, blah, blah.